The streak is over. It's over. That's it. Six game losing streak. Longest streak of the season for the Cubs. Losing streak anyways. I'm calling it right now. Streak's over at six. Cubs win 14 to eight. They, uh, they outpowered their bullpen, right? I mean, they, they made sure that that lead was safe. Um, first and foremost, great job, Cole Hamels. He, I, I tweeted this earlier. It's, you know, everybody knows the saying, right? He's the hero we weren't looking for, but he's the hero we needed. Cole Hamels went six innings, no walks. That was huge, huge. Pitched outstanding, over 100 pitches. It's the type of game the Cubs needed from a starter right now. Joe Madden went to his new guys in the bullpen. Uh, everybody knows Carl Edwards Jr. See ya. You're in Des Moines. Montgomery, you're on the IL. Side note, that's weird to say, right? IL instead of DL. Was he going to Illinois? Stop. Stop, Chipper. That was a horrible, horrible joke. Anyways, so that's two spots the Cubs needed to fill. They called up Kyle Ryan and Alan Webster from Iowa. Um, Ryan pitched well. He gave up a couple knocks. Um, I don't mind him as a lefty, though. I, I, I don't know if he's a guy you can rely on in a bullpen, though, a, a full season. I think he's a great guy that can go back and forth between Iowa and Chicago. Um, Webster has the stuff to do it. He gave up uh, He gave up a big, big hit. Big hit. And I... Uh, I, I'm gonna chalk that up as a first game jitters, first time up with the may, you know the major league club this season. I'm gonna go say that's jitters, so I'm not too worried about that right now. Um, Randy Rosario is just like I said last night with Carl Edwards Jr. Randy Rosario should not be on a major league roster right now. He's not good. He he's just he doesn't have the stuff to get major league hitters out on a consistent basis. And I I would like to see him ship to Iowa tomorrow. I I would not mind seeing that happen. Uh, maybe call up Dylan Maples. Why not? Right? Let's. If you expect Maples to be in your bullpen in September, and be a big part later on this season, why not just bring him now? I I wouldn't hate to see that. Um, but you know. Besides, let's push the pitch in aside. We all know the issues with the bullpen. We're trying. The Cubs are trying to figure it out. Let's talk the offense. This offense is great. I mean, it is on fire right now. Twenty-four runs in two games for this offense, and that's without Bryant hitting, and that's without Rizzo hitting. Really, I mean, Rizzo had that two-run double, which was huge, but. Outside of that, I mean, Rizzo really hasn't hit, and Bryant has been stone cold. This is everybody else's hitting. Jason Hayward, right? Three home runs in two games. I He, he has three home runs, and it took him 175 games last year to get to three home runs. We're eight games in. He's already there. That's awesome. That is awesome. If Jason Hayward has a career year, and Javi Baez and Bryant are the are um, Javi uh, Javi Baez, Chris Bryant and Anthony Rizzo are themselves with Hayward, and Contreras has a better year. I'm loving this offense. The Scalzo, the Scalzo, it's a leadoff hitter. You have legit two guys who can play second base. And be your leadoff hitter at any point. That's the Scalzo and Zobrist. Right now, right now, the way Schwarber's hitting, the way Hayward's hitting, right now, you can have a lineup with the Scalzo and Zobrist and Schwarber and Hayward in it at the same time. Almora Jr. is struggling right now. He cannot, he's got the Baez syndrome. He can't lay off that slider low and outside. He can't, and that's okay. He's gonna he's going to figure out how. I I believe in Alba, Almora Jr. I think he can do it, but until he does, I have no issue with Hayward playing center, and Zobers playing right, and Descalzo as the second baseman. Right now, 
there's no reason for Ian Happ to come up. Find me a place for him because I, I don't have one right now. And that's a great problem to have because Ian Happ is a great player. He's a really, really solid baseball player who can hit. Ian Happ is such a great hitter. He really is, despite the 33% strikeout rate. He is a really good hitter. He just needs to find himself. He leads Iowa with six RBIs right now. They've played two games. Ian Happ can hit. But right now, there's no room for him. Because of the way Schwarber's playing. The way Hayward's playing. Ben Zobers is Ben Zobers. The way the Stauzo's playing. You're not going to take Chris Bryant out of the lineup. You're not going to take Anthony Rizzo out of the lineup on a consistent basis. You're not going to take Baez out of the lineup on a consistent basis. And how great is it to have a backup catcher who can get on base five times in one game? Find me a backup catcher in Major League Baseball that has can give you in, give you a chance to get on base five times in one game. No, seriously. Tweet me it because I can't think of one. Tweet me, at the Ivy Boys. Because if you do, that's great. Because that guy doesn't exist. Victor Carantini did that tonight. This offense is on fire. It's on fire. And you get the solid pitching, you're going to get rid of the airs. Because I believe those are connected. I believe that the fielders try too hard. And they overthink stuff. When they know the pitching is struggling. Because they want to get that guy his out. To get the, that pitcher on a roll. Well if the pitcher is pitching. Really really well. Then the the defense can relax a little bit. And just go with the flow. And go with. How they know how to play the game. Because they don't have to. They don't have to press. Because that pitcher needs that out. Does, does that make sense? Um, so I think the defense and pitching. Go hand in hand. So you get the solid pitching outing. Like you did from Cole Hamels today. And Steve Ciszek in the ninth inning, how lights out was that? Then I, the defense is more relaxed and can make the routine plays. And doesn't feel like they have to rush or press and make the, and that's what causes the errors in baseball. And so it, it's, it, it, they go hand in hand. And that's why you saw a very well fielded game by the Cubs tonight. This was a great win. Yeah, they gave up eight runs. But the way the fire, the the offense is going, fourteen obviously was enough. They know the struggles of the pitching. This is stuff that's going to happen. It's going to happen. There's going to be a one nothing game. There's going to be a two nothing game. That that's when the offense is struggling and the pitching staff's on point. It's a matter of time when they both are great at once, and that's when win streaks happen, and that's when you start realizing that this team is a really really great team this is a world series contingent team they just have to figure out their bullpen and they're trying i give them props they are trying to do that now do it one more time and send down randy rosario anyways guys thanks so much for listening to this um i i plan to do uh, when i watch games there's there's going to be times that i don't get to watch the games and so i, I won't be doing a post game um video like so but when i when i do get to watch them you're gonna get one of these every night um i may have there there will be a podcast next week i guarantee that i'm looking for that co-host now right now i may have someone there you know there's there's a little smoke there so we'll see if that's uh where the smoke to fire so we'll see what happens with that but in the meantime until i uh, get a permanent replacement um, this Tuesday, we're going to record and it'll be launched uh, on Wednesday. Uh, Bob Marufo of BobMarufo.com is going to uh, be my guest host. So watch for that come uh, Wednesday. That uh, I'm very excited about that one. Um, Bob always has such fascinating things to say about the Cubs. And I'm really excited to, uh, to do a podcast with him. So watch for that. Um, another thing, uh, I, I, I know I've said live stuff on YouTube right now, but when I record on my phone, apparently YouTube doesn't like that. So <laughs> they don't let me do live and I don't understand. So hopefully on my computer, I'll be able to do that and you'll be able to see the podcast. 
So we'll see what happens there. Um, you like my hat? Let me know. You can buy a hat. I, I'm sure we can make that happen anyways. You want you want Ivy Boy swag? I'm sure we're getting to that point where that's going to happen a lot. Be able to happen a lot easier. So anyways, guys, thanks for listening. Follow me on Twitter at the Ivy Boys. You can follow me on Twitter at Strike 3 just the number three. I mainly tweet from the Ivy Boys, though. Um, but follow both of us. You know, both of my Twitter handles, which is weird, right? It's weird, but it is what it is. Chipper's more of my personal Twitter. Um, you might see more things about my daughter and stuff like that out there. But the Ivy Boys, that's the one I'm on all the time. So if you want to tweet me with anything or, like I said, tweet me a better backup catcher than Victor Carantini, a backup catcher that can get on base five times in one game on a pretty much regular basis, tweet me at the Ivy Boys. Um, Facebook. Like it, you follow Bob on Twitter at Bobo. No, it's at Bob815. I should look into that before I say that, right? I think it's Bob815. Pretty sure. But anyways, follow him like there. And you can follow Vince, who also does my our uh, stuff for the website and things like that, at Kendros. Bob and Vince, if I've messed up your handles, I'm so sorry. Tweet me about that. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for listening. I'll see you next game. Go Cubs.